Back in the small gloves is Nate Ayers in the red. Michael Lizalde poses opposite in blue gloves. This amateur featherweight bout is brought to you by Castleview Hospital, serving Carbon and Emory Counties for years. Castleview Hospital, an official sponsor of Fierce FC. Both fighters looking calm and ready. Zalde fighting May 31st of this year. Longer layoff for Ayers. Straight into the kicking we go. Unending movement on both sides. Good takedown defense there from Ayers. Two years in a row in which we have lost a decal inside the cage. Dave Selyusted, the hero in that process. Stuck on the foot of Lazalde as Ayers on top. I was just talking to Dave about that literally five minutes ago. <laughs> Better than having the door fly open, that's for sure. Yeah, we don't like to talk about that one. <laughs> they doing a good job here keeping that top pressure, keeping him controlled a little bit. Uh, I'd like to see Michael start utilizing some inside frames and not necessarily giving Nate a hug on the, on the, on the ground. Start creating some space and some movement so that that could allude to him getting out. Nate Ayers also talking about this with Pedro Sierra in the back. The first MMA fighter out of Sierra MMA other than the name Joel Haro, who's sitting right next to me right now. Yeah, we're, we're slowly building our fight team there at Sierra MMA. We got a, a, lot, of, a lot of fighters wanting to make their debuts. And, uh, and, of course, Kiwi out of Sierra as well. Who, got, some, uh, got some kickboxers. Yeah. We, did, we did mention that as well. There's definitely some kickboxers that have come out of that gym, but primarily the MMA rule set. You and Nate are the only ones on that list. Yes, sir. So far, both of us are the, the first ones to fight out of Sierra. Um, and I'm very excited to see where, where Nate goes in his, in his fighting career for sure. Ayers slows down the fight early with the takedown and remaining committing to the game plan thus far. Already well past the halfway of round number one in which Ayers is tallying up the control time. Absolutely. I'd like to see Nate start posting on his face uh, to start breaking his grip around his neck so then he can start raining down some, some ground and pound punches there. Making his weight well known with that elbow on top, but not necessarily a choking pressure, more so just annoying than anything, Joel. Oh, absolutely. That's one of my least favorite favorite positions to be in while uh, grappling, let alone with uh, with punches being thrown, for sure. And it looks like we, we had a tap. With that, Nate Ayers, he's going to move to 1-1. One and one. 